It's summer again, and that means one thing, treasure hunting. It's time to get out there and go treasure hunting. We at Garrett have put together a really exciting summer special. It's the GTI 2500 Summer Special, which includes for free four accessories. Let's break it down a bit. The GTI 2500 is Garrett's finest top-of-the-line imaging metal detector. And imaging displays the treasure you found in five different sizes. A through E. A being the smallest, E being the largest. Also included with the 2500 is the nine and a half inch imaging coil. This is the best all-purpose coil for suitable for all kinds of treasure hunting. Now, the four free accessories that come with your 2500 start off with the Pro Pointer. This is probably the most valuable treasure hunting tool that you could own. The sound simply beeps louder and faster as you get towards the target. And then when you're right on top of it, it's a steady sound. Garrett's Pro Pointer is, um, it's got a, a pouch you could just clip it right onto the side of your belt there. Also included, the other accessories are the Garrett Deluxe headphones. And these allow you to hear those whispers of sound, especially when you're in the all metal mode and you're listening for those real quiet sounds that rise and fall. And they also tend to shield out unwanted sounds like lawnmowers and airplanes and so forth. Also included is this uh, treasure pouch which has many pockets to put your treasures in. One zip pocket in the front for your really valuable rings which you find. And, uh, and then other pouches for the trash that you collect as you treasure hunt. And the last accessory um, it's, it's a book. It's, this is called Relic Quest written by our very own Steve Moore. Um, Steve has poured his heart and soul into this book um, and he's gone on many journeys with, with many relic hunters and he's documented these finds um, and this book also has a foreword by my father Charles Garrett and there's a section in the book that Steve spotlighted and that's my father's relics. Um, there's seven or eight pages devoted to that um, and the relics are displayed here in our Garrett Treasure Museum which you could come see in Garland, Texas. Um, but the Relic Quest is a valuable book for um, any treasure hunter, especially the Relic Hunter, and it's, it's a especially a great companion piece to the GTI 2500. The price for the GTI 2500 Summer Special is $10.95, and of course I said these four accessories are free, and that's a value of $211. So we encourage you to hop on and Get treasure hunting with the GTI 2500 with your free pro pointer, headphones, pouch, and book, and, uh, and get started today. You can learn more about this summer special at garrett.com. Thanks and have a great summer and happy hunting. I'm holding the video called Treasure Visions. To me personally, this is my favorite video that I've ever produced for Garrett. And the reason is, is that um, my father, he approached me and he said that he had several finds that he had found through the years that he wanted to reenact. And I thought that was just a super idea. Um, he also said there were some finds that his friends had found that they had disclosed um, the moment that they had found those finds, uh, like in ghost towns or whatever. And my father had made uh, just a journal of several of the finds from his friends and then of course his own finds. So. My dad and I and then a small film crew, we went out to uh, southern Utah to an abandoned ghost town um, and we also went to this old movie site which was the exterior set for the Gunsmoke television series. And so we, we had our run of the place, at these, both of these locations. And so uh, we, we reenacted all the finds that my dad found, like um, one of those was this little pistol in this little bag and if you'll watch the video clip right now um, my dad finds this little gambler's pistol. Um, another one um, that I'll mention is that um, he found some coins outside of what was a supposed old bank. And so um, we just went along and I videotaped these and um, we reenacted my dad's discoveries and, and it turned out to be really a beautiful DVD. Um, and lo and behold, we're also going down this old mountain road and he's with his scorpion 
and he actually finds a gold nugget right there on that road and I'm rolling the camera and I was like oh heck yeah man it was, it was a nice little nugget so that was actually a live discovery at that moment um, so uh, getting back to it the DVD is 995 it's called Treasure Visions um, and it's a really nice chronicle of my dad finding some wonderful treasure although some is reenacted and some was live um, it's just a great DVD and I encourage you to watch it and kick back thanks a lot all right we're here at our second location and uh, we went off some advice of uh, some locals an older couple had stopped and was telling us some the older uh, historic places here in Ovilla and one of them they mentioned was uh, behind me is uh, an older community center well, back in the day, in the early 1800s, it was said that the old school, the first school of Ovilla, was uh, built somewhere back over here. So we're going to check and see what we can't find uh, out here. But that's one of the things you want to look for and uh, go by is uh, the old timers and the locals and everything. They have a lot of knowledge usually of uh, the past and what used to be where and everything like that because most of them grew up as kids there. The B-size, that's your coins, rings, stuff like that. Anything larger than that is usually uh, your cans. So that's why I skipped over the last one. And here I'm showing a uh, good signal. You can hear it right there. It's bouncing between the penny and the dime. And then I go to pinpoint and it's showing that it's B size and about two inches. For this one we have a shallow target so we're not going to need the shovel. When you uh, get a depth of two inches you can usually just take your uh, pinpointer and find out exactly where it's at with the pinpointer that way you can just pop you out a small little hole and there it is. We got a old dirty penny. We'll put that away and uh, move on. See what else we can find out here. As I'm going along here, these signals are uh, bouncing all over the place. So more than likely, they're trash. You're looking for that good, uh, good signal that's gonna stay steady and have the, the audio, the good audio. Yep, there's just a lot of trash around here, but all those years of uh, people coming out here, I'm sure there's all kinds of trash up underneath the ground. In case you didn't know and uh, use the 2500, Garrett's actually now has the uh, double D coil that comes out with uh, the 2500, which is uh, a nice, uh, nice coil if you've ever used one. I've yet to uh, use it on the 2500, but I hear it's pretty good coil. And as you can hear right here, we've got that good bell tone and it's staying steady right here at the dime and we're showing target to be right there it says B size and four inches down so we'll dig right here and see what we can come up with
Target's a little deeper down. We'll dig a little more. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got some silver. Hey, it's silver. We got a mercury. It's pretty war. We're out and tarnished. I have to break out the uh, magnifying glass, see if I can get a date on it. Day five. I can see the 19, that's, that's about it. Well, that's a good find for today. So, we're doing good today, find all these older coins, but you do your research and look into uh, things and uh, find some of the old uh, spots where people used to go. That's where you're going to find your old silver and your old coins. So, let's keep on going and see what else we can find. And while you're out here, uh, hunting and everything after you find a location like Charles Garrett says you've got to kind of think about where everything was if uh, like here for instance we uh, old school site if the uh, school was located say right there where uh, the community center was the kids you know were going to be out back here playing and everything and you're going to be looking for uh, signs where people used to be so and that's where you want to do your hunting. Here we've got another good signal. This is 10 cents it's showing up as. And we pinpoint and say it's two inches down. Well, uh, four inches down and it's sea size. So we're going to go ahead and dig this just to check and see what it is since it's given such a good signal there. Actually there must have been multiple targets because it's showing there was something else here at two inches in B size. That was probably our target as you can see the, the pro pointers got something here. There's, we'll dig and see what we got. And it's a piece of uh, metal here at two inches. Just some old metal trash. So we'll go back over with the detector and uh, see if we're still getting a good signal, just to make sure. Sometimes you gotta dig up that trash and get it out of the way, I found. And uh, before you get to the good stuff, a lot of times. So we'll move on. See, there we go. Here's another good signal. And we're showing a dime. It's ringing up as. And we pinpoint. And we're showing four inches in B size again. So. A lot of loose dirt here. Alright, target's right in here, a little deeper. There we go, I just saw it. We got another silver. Woo! Oh, we got a barber this time. Barber. Look at that. How you talking? All right, 19, looks like a 1908. I can see that one. Thank you, school kids of America. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice, pretty, nice find. That's a good find. 
I enjoy finding those old silver coins. All right, put that away and cover our hole back up and see what else we can find. Now while you're out, in my own personal experience, what I found is uh, once you find a good target, say like the coin, uh, you usually want to kind of hammer that area in a good 10 foot radius around there because uh, what I found is usually you'll find a lot more. You know that someone was there back in the day and they dropped stuff so that could be a spot where people were uh, hanging out or whatever because you don't know exactly what was there unless you can find some old pictures and old pictures are hard to come by. As you can see that target was right there and the other one was right there. So we're you know within a good 10 feet of each other so since I found those two I'm just gonna hit all this area real good and uh, see what I can come up with. We still got a lot of trash out here. Yeah, but what is it? Just a piece of the foundation of the early school. Okay. And as we're uh, walking up here where we just found those two old silver, as you can see right here by the tree, you've got an old piece of concrete, more than likely. Uh, it's older, don't know how old exactly. Uh, but that's you know a good sign old stones old foundations you want to be looking for that kind of stuff and gives you somewhat of an idea of where you want to hunt and check out first so we'll check all all around here no uh, targets bouncing around quite a bit So, well, there we go again. Here we, as you can hear, that nice Garrett bell tone. Our stig signal's uh, staying steady. It's not jumping all over. It's right there on the penny dime. And we pinpoint, and we've got another uh, B size four inches down. Well, being right here by the tree, you got to watch out all these roots. This one's probably going to be a little more difficult, but we'll see what we can do. And it shows that our target's down deeper in this area. This may be a little bit of a problem, as you can see. We got a tree root right here, but we'll do our best. Oh, we got another tree root right there, so our target is right in between the tree roots. So this may be a little bit of a pain, but oh boy. It's right directly. Here, let's dig back a little. Oh, I just saw something. Yep, there it is. Oh, man. oh, we got lucky. Another one. All right, another mercury. You're tearing up today, boy. And this one's a 19. 19. I, I make out the 19. I have to get the magnifying glass. That's small date it's hard to make out but excellent find good. that's uh that's three uh silver coins right here in probably you know good 10 15 foot radius so we'll put that away and move on see what else we can find as you see as larry pans around here uh looks to be the uh boys and the girls uh outhouses where they'd uh come out and use the restroom you want to look for these uh, types of signs when you're out hunting. These old trees. You got your old pecan trees and 
old oak trees. They've been uh, here for a long time. They've got some really big trees. That's another sign you want to look for and make sure and hunt all around the trees. People used to sit down, get shade and everything under them. So, oh everyone, we appreciate you coming out and watching uh, the summer edition of the uh, Lost and Hidden Treasure. Uh, we had a real good hunt today. We found uh, five coins, uh, a lot of trash, but that goes with it and everything. Uh, we used the AT Pro and the summer special here, the 2500, and uh, we enjoyed it, had a good time, and uh, can't wait to see you next time. There's money, gold, and jewelry hidden in the ground. You'll find it in the country and every yard and town. There's gold in the oceans and along the mountain stream. It's there to be discovered by those who dare to dream. There's nothing more exciting than finding something old. No matter if it's copper or made of solid gold. Garrett has made it easy no matter what your age. To find your hidden treasure, go start your search today. You can find it on a mountaintop or deep down in the sea. So take your garret with you, no matter where you'll be.